right, good morning. Welcome to day one of our Peru box around the world. We have traveled to several different countries. So you need to flip all the way yeah, to look how full your passport the is. Back. I know, we have Peru and then we have New Zealand and we are done. That is around the world. Maybe we'll get a wild hair and do another around the world series next year. Not right, right now, now. <laughs> not right now, but. Um, all right, so glue in your facts about Peru. And Miss Rachel is gonna scoot up here and kind of go over everything with you. All right, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. So as Miss Gracie already said, we are visiting Peru this week. Peru is in South America. And its flag is right here. It has red stripes on either side. Oh, white stripe in the middle, and then a beautiful little seal in the middle there. Several flags. Yes. To get to this one, yes, just saying. Yes, Peru does have several quote-unquote official flags, and this is the one that we landed on for this one. <laughs> the official language of Peru is Spanish, and to say hello in Peru, just say, hola. 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 Como esta usted? Muy bien. All righty. Its national animal is the vicuña. And you see that little squiggly line? over the end, it's called a tilde, and that make the nya sound, so it's vicuña. And its famous landmark is Machu Picchu. This is gorgeous. It is very, very famous. A lot of people go and visit it every been, year. I have never been to Machu Picchu. I've never it, been to South America. So. Is it on your list? It is on my list, okay. absolutely. Okay. It's a lot of hiking. It is a lot of hiking, but I think I'm up for it, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> I need to do it before I get too much older. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, exactly. All right, so glue in all of your facts. And then you have your stamp. Your little visa stamp. Yeah. Wow. This glue doesn't want to work this morning. All right. Glue. Stay. <laughs> Stay. All right. So you have your stamp give your passport a stamp you are officially boom welcome Bam. to Peru all right so very first thing we are going to do is our bag we're gonna make a llama I always want to say save the drama for your mama but the llama keeps making me think of that anyway. rhyming words <laughs> I don't know I don't know Probably from that so Mama save, Mama book, save, yeah. Save the drama for your llama. That's right. <laughs> all right. So you need to find all the pieces, lay them out in front of you. Doesn't look right, does it? Mm, not not okay. yet. We'll get there. So if it looks like that and it doesn't match up, turn it around. Flip it over, okay? And then it should match up. All right. Very first thing we're gonna do, just like a little puzzle, I'm gonna put some glue on here. And we're gonna line up the head, push that on there. And then we're gonna line up the body and do the same thing. So make sure the feet line up. So put some glue all over. And then line up the feet hooves that's right all right that is step one easy peasy okay two we're gonna flip it over and then you have two clothespins and a popsicle stick sounds crazy miss Chrissy well my brain works that way <laughs> Um, all right, so you are going to line up the clothespins right at the feet. Okay, that'll help it stand, give it a little bit of stability. And our popsicle stick is going to go right in between. Okay, we'll close okay. It so you guys can see that. So there it's just kind of making it sturdy. You can do it this way, you can glue it this way, either way. So lots and lots of glue on your clothespin, open side down and line it up right with the foot or the hook. Okay, do the same thing on this side. Right. 
Okay. All right, stick. Lots of glue. All right, and then whoop, push it on there. Okay, that's just to give it a little bit of stability. Well, need some wool. Yeah, he's not quite done yet. Need some wool. All right, so you have this massive amount of string. Should be fairly rolled up nicely, so just drop it on the floor. And hold this in. And then take your glue, put a little dab on the back, and that's where you're gonna start. Okay, you can push that on there. And then, just wind it up, yep. Right. We need to make right. our llama nice and wooly. Right. And so if it's on the floor, it should just keep coming up until you cover all this white. Now I will tell you, if your child has a really hard time with this, leave off the clothespins, leave off the or actually, I mean, you could still do that, but take the string and cut it into little pieces mm -hmm. and then just have them glue the front and stick the yarn on that way. Yep, that's also an option too. Okay, so. Just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. Miss Stacy, you guys did this yesterday? Uh, Monday and Tuesday, yes. Yep. With the little guys though, we did what you said, we're gonna cut it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It all depends on their level. I'm losing my. Did you guys name your llama in preschool, Miss Stacy? Um, I don't think so, but we did read those llama books. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cute. Uh, one little boy's convinced it was a sheep, and I could not tell him. <laughs> <laughs> so. Once you have it all wrapped, you can just take the last piece of string, and just stick it in there. Let's tuck it in. There you go. If that's too hard, put some glue there and go glue it on. There's our llama. He's so cute. He's adorable. All right. How about Larry? Larry. Larry the llama. Larry the llama. It's not very Peruvian name. <laughs> you have a better one, Miss Rachel. I'm trying to think of like, okay, Spanish names that start with L. Like, um, that's a good question. I need to Google that and figure it out. Uh, Leonardo or something. There you go. <laughs> All right, all right, so that is day one of our Peru box. Join me tomorrow. We will work on day two of Peru. We're working on the letter P. Have a fantastic day. Bye, you guys.